Greetings, my name is Elvis Popich and I'm a Solutions Architect here at AWS. Thanks for joining me today. The goal for today's video is actually to like take a look at VMware Cloud on AWS and the shared responsibility and how both of them work together. Let's look at the shared responsibility model real quick. There are three different sections of the shared responsibility model. The first is actually the customer responsibility. The second is VMware's responsibility. And the third is AWS responsibility. If we look at AWS responsibility, AWS currently has 26 regions at the recording of this video. We also have 84 availability zones across those regions. We also have over 400 plus edge locations. This is all running on AWS global infrastructure. What this means is that AWS is responsible for the, the building, the facilities, the cooling, all the components that run within the data center, as well as the security of the data center. This is AWS responsibility. VMware's responsibility for the VMware Cloud on AWS service consists of the compute, the storage, and the networking components. They ensure that all these components are optimized and working properly. There are cases where VMware needs to engage AWS to ensure that they can get support on the physical infrastructure. So VMware will reach out to AWS to ensure that they're able to keep the customer environment as operational and optimized as possible. Now you may ask about the customer responsibility. This consists of the customer's data. This also consists of the customer's applications the access to those applications, and the networking configuration and operating system. This also includes the VMs the customer is running within their environment. Now let's take a look at the VMware Cloud on AWS. VMware Cloud on AWS consists of three main components. We have your vSphere environment, which is your hypervisor layer for VMware. Many of you are already familiar with this hypervisor because you may be running this in your current data centers. vSAN is a storage piece of it. This is the storage that aggregates across the physical servers within the hypervisor. The third is NSX. This is the networking configuration piece of VMware Cloud on AWS. This all actually goes up into the management layer, which is vCenter. This is where customers would manage their VMs, layout of the VM environment, folders, and resource pools. Now you may ask, where does this all play, in, play into the shared responsibility model? Well, VMware Cloud on AWS has components that are actually managed by the customer and components that are the responsibility of VMware. Some of those include maybe vSphere, vSAN, and NSX versions, critical patching, and maintenance of the service, this is the VMware responsibility. But the configuration of these, some of these components, like NSX, network segments, firewall rules, and even connectivity to on-premise environments or other data centers, are all of the responsibility of the customer. vCenter is also partially managed by VMware to ensure that the components and services that are running within VMware Cloud stay optimized. But the overall vCenter environment, access to the vCenter is all managed by the customer. We also wanted to add one additional thing. We get this from customers quite often, that they may ask actually, what actually, where is VMware Cloud on AWS running? Is it within AWS as a virtualized environment? Well, no. VMware Cloud on AWS is actually running in EC2 on bare metal servers. They're actually running the components of vSphere vSAN and NSX. So it's actually not running within a virtualized environment on AWS. It's actually running its own software-defined data center on bare metal physical servers. So you might ask, what are the bare metal types that we have? Well, there are three main types that we have. We have I3, I3EN, and I4. There are additional ones on the roadmap, and we encourage you to look on our website to see the, the versions that are coming out. 
The website also includes actual specs on each of these, these bare metal servers. We also encourage you to reach out to our AWS VMware Cloud on AWS team so they can actually help you with the right bare metal server to choose regions that you may want to deploy to to ensure that the services that you want are actually available there. They can also help you out with sizing and optimizing and even go dive into how to do the migration and also discuss maybe modernization opportunities. Thank you for your time. My name is Elvis again and we look forward to seeing you on other videos.